it's Stephanie. I am going to be uh, just showing you guys the new font fixation font hideaway. It is three millimeters tall. Here's the packaging. You guys have probably seen this before, but these are um, almost cube-like hard plastic containers with foam to protect the stamps. And then every set, you can't see it in here, but um, every set has a one of these gel silica packets to make sure that moisture doesn't um, start corroding or tarnishing your stamps. So I'm going to show you the lowercase and uppercase working together so that you guys can see just how easy it is to line up. Hang on one sec while I zoom you in. I'll be stamping on steel just because I think that has a really nice impression and you guys probably already know but I use Rob Steel. It's Steel Stamping Blanks or Stamping Blanks. That's what it is. Rob Stamping Blanks. You've seen the stamps before, but one side, the right side up, has the engraving on it. You've seen the taper. I'm just going to really quickly hammer this out for you guys, just so that you can see that even with a cursive font with tails, it's still pretty easy to line up. I use, because steel is so awesome, you can see the uh, reflection in the steel really easily, so you can see exactly where to line it up lowercase letters that um, dip under the, your tape. I just move the tape real fast and line it up. And then I put my tape back where I think it was. There we go. So like I said, this wants three millimeters. It looks really, really good with 2.5 millimeter shadows into light. It's just the slightest bit bigger, um, obviously, 2.5 versus 3 millimeters. And so it has a little bit of an emphasis look to it when you stamp them together. But they still look like they kind of belong together. So there you go, Stephanie. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'll color it in and, uh, and see if you can see how easy it is to line it up. I'll be right back. Okay, so there you have it. There's the steel that I just hammered real quick while I was chatting with you guys. And here's an aluminum impression. This is 12 gauge aluminum. This is one of Rob's steel pieces again at Stamping Blanks. And then you've probably seen um, optimal alloys, um, optimal alloys cuffs. These are also 12 gauge. These are aluminum. So I hope that helps you guys see. I'm trying to get not having a reflection, but that's just not working. So I hope you guys see just how easy it is to line up. And I hope that's been helpful to you. Okay, Merry Christmas.